And I'm sure everyone here is ready to start. But before we do, I would love to just ans ask you a simple question, okay? I always ask my masterclass teachers this. Why do you think this topic of healing depression in our day and age is so important? Because depression is very prevalent. There are a lot of people struggling with depression. Some people do not even know that this is what they are struggling with. And I think any help we can get to, to feel better in our life is always welcomed. Um, I work in one-to-one um, -one sessions and in group sessions with my clients and depression is always, always a topic that is coming up uh, towards healing. Um, it can be coupled with other illnesses or diseases. Um, so that is why I chose this topic for today, because I think it's a very present uh, topic in our daily lives right now. I agree with you, and I'm deeply grateful that you chose it as well. So I'm mm -hmm. going to give the class to you. So here we go. Enjoy, everyone. Thank you. <sighs> so uh, I always like to open a space, and uh, by doing that, we set our intentions from our heart. And if it's possible, I would like you to just close your eyes for a second and place your hand on your heart. And we will ask our angels, our guides, our archangels, the ascended masters, the galactic families, all beings of light that love us, guide us, support us to be here with us today and we set the intention to receive energy from the highest place of truth love and compassion and divine healing and that this energy is what you need for your soul for your mind for your emotions for your physical body at this time in your life and I will open the space by calling in a light language transmission, just a blessing for everyone in the group. Essa, essa, essa. <laughs> and you can take a deep breath, open your eyes, and we can start. And I will ask Viveke to put on the screen the presentation I prepared for today. So, as you can see on this first slide, today we will talk a little bit about um, the causes of depression, some symptoms you can recognize it. And we will also do a very important part that is the healing part. What is light language? If you've never experienced it before, maybe this is the first time you have heard it uh, and you're wondering what it is, it's a vibrational download that transcends the mind. And this means that you cannot understand it with your human rational mind but you can understand it and feel it with your body and with your emotions. Um, some people write light language. I, tra I transmit it through my eyes and through my voice and through my gestures of the hands. So during the clearing part and the healing part, you can either look at me or you can just listen to me. It doesn't really matter. The vibration will go into your body, um, but please, do not try to translate it because it is impossible to be translated into human languages. I use light language to do clearing. Um, and I think this is the most important part of my work. But I also use it to do activations and to download um, mental patterns and um, supportive, positive emotions. This is what we'll do today, of course. Um, you can go to the next slide. Okay. Uh, 
And I will um, start talking about um, depression because this is our topic for the day. And uh, if you experienced depression or you know people that experience depression, you will observe that they are very connected to their past. And that is why I put here past is very big because energetically people that are suffering from depression put a lot of their energy into the past, very, very small energy into the present moment and a little bit more into the future. But for people that are experiencing depression, the past is a dreadful place um, and um, it's full of uh, shame and guilt and uh, things they cannot disconnect from. Um, it is very difficult for them to be in the present moment and enjoy the present moment. And uh, the future is most of the time very scary. So this is, the, I think, one of the most important things we have to understand about depression, that it is projected energy connected to our past. And it is quite difficult for the people who experience it to bring their energy into the present moment. But why is this important? Healing can only happen in the present. We can heal our past by being present in this moment. And for that, during our um, healing part today, we will bring in anchors of energy from the past and parts of soul from the past into the present moment so we can allow ourselves to, to heal. Um, a lot of people that um, experience depression also experience anxiety and anxiety is projecting a lot of your energy into the future. Anxiety is about worry about what is going to, to happen. And uh, it's the same. We are not present in this moment. And uh, by projecting our energy into the past or into the future, it's very difficult to enjoy life and heal. Okay, we can go to the next slide. Thank you. <laughs> um, I just uh, put this um, image because I found it very simple of our um, human energetic bodies. And from my point of view, depression is not just a mental illness, but it is a spiritual illness that impacts all aspects of our existence. And in this image, how the um, human being is like a little layer of cake. You know, we have all these layers, but we mostly see the physical body. There are a few people that can see the other energetical bodies. They are clairvoyant or um, clairsentient. They can feel it. Um, but depression is one illness that start in the spiritual body and if you could please go to the next slide okay what is the spiritual body it is the energy of our soul it is us the spark divine light that came to experience life on earth in these human bodies and when we chose to have a human body we were gifted also with mind and emotion, but this is what we are. This is the soul that is you and comes here to, to play this um, human game for a while. And for whoever experiences depression, I would like you to understand that this is where it starts. And it starts from a disconnection from God or universe or however you want to call it. And this disconnection doesn't allow enough energy to come into your aura because your, if you know what aura is, is an energetic field that is around your physical body. And um, we like to say that um, when somebody dies, the, the soul left the body, but actually the soul is not in the body. It's around the body. The body is in the energy of the soul. Um, so in this 
in this energetic body, many times we can have interference. And I wrote here entities. Um, and if you don't know what entities are, uh, just how there are angels out there or uh, guides who are benevolent beings of the light who want what's best for our, us, there are also beings that are not so good. They, they don't want the, the best for us. They feed on low vibrating energy and they are malevolent. And um, when we are highly traumatized in this life, and um, I don't know anyone who hasn't been traumatized in a way um, or another, um, these entities have a door that they can access to come into our field. And this is how they start to feed with uh, energy from our soul. Also, we can lose little parts of our soul. Just imagine like little pieces of puzzle from your soul energy that you leave when, for example, when you lose a relationship or uh, when you lose something that was very dear to you, in which you put a lot of energy, for example, maybe a work project or a house that you love dearly, or maybe you had to leave your country or something else. And um, because of this, your aura, your soul, your energetic body starts to be a little bit weaker. And this is how you can start developing depression. As I was saying earlier, when you feel disconnected from God, from source, there is not enough flow energy that comes into your system. And that is why today we are going to, to do the healing part, starting with um, focusing on the soul part. Let's get to um, my favorite part, and that is the, the healing. As I was uh, saying in the beginning, uh, we will do a clearing and we will clear from our spiritual bodies all entities, if they are present, all hooks, implants or whatever other things they left into our field because they are not welcomed anymore. We are here to live as beings of light and if there is any being that is uh, wanting to uh, feed from our energy, it's our sovereign being uh, right to not allow that. Okay, so let's get into it. So just close your eyes. And we will ca call here with us the best light language clearing for this group for everyone who's present right now and for everyone who will watch this in the future. And you can just listen to me or watch me, whatever you want. And we will start to ask a clearing for all entities in our auras. しきたかとこいてかたかたかたこしきたかたかたこいてかたかたかたこしきたかたかたかたこしきたかたかたかたこしきたかたかたこしきたかたかたこしきたかたかたこしきたかたかたこしきたかたかたこしきたかたかたこ